Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Eileen. All right, today we're going to do another video where I show you a lot of different styles from different manufacturers, but today they're all short, sassy summer styles. All right, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And be sure to hit that bell notification so you'll always know when I upload a video. So, you know, I show a lot of wigs at one time. That's something I enjoy doing. It seems like something that you enjoy where I show you a lot of different styles from different manufacturers. And I really enjoy these videos because they're really casual. You know, my uh, full reviews of videos, uh, my full reviews of wigs where I show you cap construction, outdoor lighting, really detailed. Those are a little more formal because I have to cover all the bases in those. These are just fun casual chats between me and you showing you a lot of different wigs. Now, this is definitely not a wig review. If you've seen these videos, you're familiar. But again, if you're new here, what I do in these videos is I just show you very quickly I have 10 wigs here, all short, all fun summer styles. I have already reviewed these wigs, so I'm not going through all the details about specs, color, cap, all of that. I've already done all that. So if you want to see a full review of any of these wigs, I will list it in the drop down box below this video. So be sure to go to the drop down box and if I have reviewed it, and I think I have all of these, there will be a link to the full video down below. So you'll be able to see outdoor lighting, everything like that. But let's just talk about this. Now, this wig, I have had so many comments about. This is Amara from Renee of Harris. It's from the Alexander Couture Collection. What a fun wig. This reminds me very much of Jet from Aesthetica. I'm going to show you that. It also reminds me of one of my very favorite wigs, Ellen Villa Alon, and we're going to look at it also. But this is an affordable style. This is Amara. This color I have is Smoke Ivory. How cute is this? I've just swept all of mine over to the side. Short, short nape. I just think, does it get any easier than this? Now, honestly, <laughs> talk about a throw on and go. It's just full of layers, easy to wear, a really, really cute style. Let me show you just quickly. This is basic, basic. This is um, no lace features open wefted, a non-extended felt nape. It doesn't get any more basic than that. But like I said, this is a very affordable style um, compared to some of the others I'm going to show you. So I wanted to make sure that you had a look at Amara because I just think it's adorable. So, so cute. Now, you know, I live down here in the south. Y'all know it gets hot down here. So it's already getting hot. I just got back from the beach. It was wonderful. I did not wear a wig at the beach except when we went out at night. People ask me all the time, what do you wear on the beach? I don't wear wigs on the beach. I, When I had no hair, when I had lost all my hair to chemo, I still did not wear um, any wigs on the beach. I just went with a bald head with a lot of sunscreen <laughs> and a hat, of course. But that's just my way. A lot of people love to wear their hair, their wigs on the beach. That's great. As I say, y'all, do you. We all have our own way. That's what's so great about this whole journey. We all have our own way of doing, doing things. We encourage each other in whatever makes you happy. You do what makes you happy, what makes you feel good, what makes you feel beautiful. We don't have to agree on that. That's great. We should agree to disagree, but mainly we should support. Let's support each other always. All right, moving on to a favorite of yours and mine, I'm sure, John Renault Ignite. This one is in strawberry syrup. Look at this color. So pretty. You know, if you followed me through the years, you know, I started out with only short blonde pixies. Wow, have times have changed, right? <laughs> now, I love the reds. I love the reds. I wear a lot of mid-length. I wear some longer styles, but I always, always come back to my short styles. It's where I feel the most at home. It's where I love short hair. I just do. And so I always come back to my short styles. But Ignite, what a beautiful style. Uh, it has a lace front. 
it does have permatease now open wefted ignite fits me large you see how much i've had to take this in it's a large fit i have a 21 and a quarter inch head circumference and at night it's always fit me large but that's okay i can pull in the adjusters and it fits just fine so it is a favorite i you know so many people love ignite right and why not you see i'm ready <laughs> that's how long it takes right you put it on i'm gonna run my comb through it and this one's pretty new i have not had this one that long i have it in venice blonde i have it i don't know several colors and um i just don't think you can go wrong i don't i just think it's this easy just what i did put it on Run your wide tooth comb through it. Run some product through it if you want. I always put one side behind my ear. That's just my way. You certainly don't have to. And you're good to go. Another short nape. I think it fits really well at the nape. I like that. It doesn't ride up at all. Uh, it, now, if you have hair that grows down on your neck, this is probably not going to work for you. And maybe the majority of these will not because these are very short napes on these wigs. But at night, it's just, it's a classic for a reason. It just works. Again, that's in strawberry syrup. Love it. Matter of fact, I've been thinking about, I need a new at night in another color. Just do. Okay. Let's move on. Okay. Y'all, I love all these wigs. And that's another thing. Like I've said a million times, people say, oh, you say you love every wig. I do. I buy these wigs. You know, I am a reviewer for Wig Studio One. I love that. And they do send me wigs for review. And I always tell you that. But the majority of my wigs I have purchased with my own funds. And I purchase all of my wigs from wigstudio1.com. And so I buy what I know I'm going to wear. And I buy the colors I know I'm going to wear. And yes, I love them all. And guess what? I can. I can do that. And you can too. You can love them all. We don't have to just love one or two. I can love 50 wigs. That's how it works. Okay. Ready for takeoff? Wow, what a wonderful wig. This is in uh, Shaded Biscuit. One of my favorite of, as you know, Rockwell Welch colors. But look at this cap. Look at this extended lace front. Hand-tied cap. Partially hand-tied cap. And the reason I say that is you see there is wefting here. Covered wefting. So that is a partial hand-tied cap. Uh, just has an extended nape. Really beautiful cap on this wig. This wig... I think is one of the best short Raquel Welch wigs. I, I cannot tell you how much I love it, how much I have worn this wig to death. I have worn this wig so, so many times. So easy. It has enough length on the top, I think, that I, I like it. I think it makes it interesting. It's not flat. I can get, now it is hand tied. There is no permatease here, but it has enough density that I feel like you can get some body here. Just, y'all, I don't have a mirror in the back, so just bear with me. I don't know what it looks like in the back. We're just doing the best. Like I said, this is just casual, right? This is just casual. So that's what I like about this. We can just talk, look at these wigs. Tell me in the comments. Y'all leave me lots of comments. Tell me if you've tried any of these. Do you like these? Which ones do you want to try? What colors do you have? Let's talk about it. But look how cute this is. Look how cute this wig is. Now this one has, as you see, the nape on this one is a little longer. Um, and so, again, if you have hair that grows down on your neck, this one might work for you. Have a look at this. So this one has a little longer nape, which I think is a good thing. But wow, wow, what a beautiful wig. Ready for takeoff and shaded biscuit. Again, I just think this cap is, is just beautiful. They did, they hit a home run. I think with um, ready for takeoff. Okay, let's go to another affordable style. This is Renee Pair Shane, and this color is Moonstone. 
I like Moonstone. Okay, now, this has a lace front and a mono part, open wefted, non extended felt nape. Moonstone is so pretty, isn't it? Very, very popular shade. Uh, again, this is a little more affordable, but it does have a lace front, which I appreciate. You could wear this completely off your face. Look how pretty that lace front is. I'm going to spray mine with just a little plain water here. You know, you've seen me do that a million times. I like to separate my fibers. I don't want any wig too fixed. In my opinion, a fixed wig is a dead giveaway for a wig. Again, everything I'm saying is my opinion. Please know I respect yours. And uh, whatever your opinion is, hey, I'm all for it. We all have different opinions. I like to separate my fibers. I like my wigs to look messy. I think that that is a more natural look for me. Again, I'm always putting my right hand, uh, my left hand side behind my ear, but you certainly do not have to. You can wear this all going forward. So cute. Just gonna run my comb through it, through the back. Again, a short nape here. You know, wow, Shane really like it again it has enough length you can and because this has a lace front you could pull this back and pin it off your face just because a wig's short don't think you can't style it you can style these wigs in a lot of different ways and this silver stone silver stone i want to make sure there's a moonstone and a silver stone this is silver stone let's make sure i said that correctly all right let's move on to something else all right, John Renault Eve. I love Eve. I have it in Martini, Martini which is 101F 48T. That's Martini. Eve is a extended lace front and a mono top. Open wefted, and it has an extended felt nape. Again, I have full reviews on these. Just look in the drop down box below the video to see full reviews. We're running through these quick. I don't want to keep you all day. You don't want to be here all day with me, so <laughs> I like to get through these fast because I know your time is valuable. Okay, I'm going to run. Isn't this martini color pretty? You know, if you're thinking about going gray, you're wanting to try gray, try martini. I think it is such a wearable shade. It's not too gray, but it has all these beautiful, look at these beautiful colors running through here. I think this is a beautiful transition color. Like I said, if you are thinking of trying some grays going that direction, you might consider this. Just again, a little water, just to mess it up a little. Get your fingers in there. Don't be afraid. Get your hands into the cap and pull these fibers away. Give them movement. That wakes these fibers up. Give them a little bit of movement. Again, you can wear this all going forward. Or tuck it behind your ear. Again, has this mono top, which is beautiful. Eve, wow, what a pretty color and what a beautiful style. A little longer nape again. Coming down a little lower. Yeah. That is a nice, not a pixie, of course, but still a short, fun style. I like that, Eve. I think this is a really beautiful, beautiful wig. All right, let's see what we got next. Oh, you've seen me wear it a million times, an all-time favorite. I hope they never stop making Jet by Aesthetica Designs. I have RH1488 RT8. This wig is so old, y'all. I have had this wig forever, and I have worn it a... <laughs> I have no idea how many times. So, so often. I really need more jets in more colors. It has a deep lace front, as you see, but then it is closed on the top. But it has this deep lace front there. Open wefted, and then it has this extended open nape here. Short nape on jet. But... This one, I fell in love with Jet when it came out. 
and I have always loved it. I think, now, there you go. You're ready. I like wigs that I honestly can throw on just like that, and I do. I, Jet is one of my, as I say, keep out wigs. I keep this out. I have a shelf that I keep wigs that I just need to grab quickly. If I need to run out to the store, run some errands, something really quick, I go to that keep out. <laughs> I call it my keep out uh, wigs and I grab one and Jet stays there and I can grab it and you saw how quick I put that on and I'm out the door. short nape here on jet but i like to just sweep mine all the way over just like that i'm gonna put a little water in it piece it out you could run some peace out cream some of that john renault peace out cream and really get this spiky and fun you can do that there's a lot you can do to make this more casual and jet if you haven't tried jet i would encourage you to do so I really would. I just, I don't think you'll be disappointed if you love short styles like I do. And if you have it, let me know. Tell me what colors you have. I need more colors. Okay. Now, Ellen Villa Coco Champagne Rooted. This is a pretty cap on this too. Lace front. Now, this has a little mono feature here, a little mono crown. Makes it look like it's growing out of your head there. Open wefted and extended felt nape. Again, this is champagne rooted. I think it's a pretty color. Coco is another short, sassy summer style, y'all. I like Coco because I like spiky hair. Very much. I love, love, love spiky hair. Now, I'm going to spray this one with some of this Tress Allure Wig Wax. If you have not tried Wig Wax, get you a can of Wig Wax. Spray it through here. It's showing you exactly what I do. And I spike this baby up. <laughs> I like that. I love spiky hair. I always have. It has these cute bangs. Bangs are fun on these short little wigs. And there you go. You can pull it all forward just like that and again now seriously doesn't get any easier really this one fits really tight to your neck I like that you are not going to get any lift anything like that you can move your head anyway and that is not moving it's not lifting but how cute is Coco I love it Love it, love it. Gosh, these are all so fun. Okay, another affordable style. This one is also called Coco, and this one is by Renea Paris. My color here is Maple Sugar R. Pretty color, Maple Sugar R. Again, this one is also called Coco, Renee of Paris, but this is basic, basic, so it's a more affordable style than the Ellen Villa. This is just a basic cap, permatease, of course. Then this has this little scalloped nape, which I don't see that often. But if you're looking for a really affordable, fun style, you can do that. This is longer on the top, as you can see where Coke, the, uh, the Ellen Villa Coco was super short and spiky. This one is a lot more volume, a lot of permatease here, y'all, lots. <laughs> I would use my, and I don't have it out here, but I would use my um, hot air tool brush and brush these bangs down because they got some box hair here. They need to be brushed down. Uh, and you can definitely use your hot air tool to do that hot air brush. Um, I got mine from Week Studio One. It's the Hot Tools and I love it. But this has a cute bang. I like this bang on this one. And you saw me put a little water through it just to piece it out a little. Has some fun spiky back here. And I'm going to push mine behind my ears on both sides. And there you go. 
longer. Again, this one is longer in the nape, so it definitely will cover. Oh, so cute. That is Coco from Manea Paris. All right, we're almost finished. A couple more. Okay, Raquel Welch. Go-to style in Shaded Biscuit. Go-to style. It has an extended lace front and a mono part. It has the memory cap and an extended felt nape. Again, Shaded Biscuit. This is go-to style. These are so pretty. Raquel Welch just understands and knows how to make these short, beautiful styles. Shaded Biscuit, of course, is like I said, you know, it's one of my all-time favorite Raquel Welch blondes. I feel like it just works. It, um, it's not too, it's ashy. I love ashy colors. I feel like they work well with my skin tone personally. And um, so if it has a lot of ash in it, I tend to gravitate towards that. And this has that for me. Now this has a longer front, which is a popular, popular thing. Trendy, but as I always say, not too trendy. Let's spray it. Let's separate it. Just a little. Just to piece that out. As you see, I'm just messing it up. That's all I'm doing. And I am pulling these fibers away from the cap, like I told you. That I, it's just my personal way. Again, this can be worn all towards the face on both sides. Because it does have these longer pieces on the front. You can tuck it behind your ear. And seriously, you're out the door. This has a little longer nape. Love it. Go-to style. Shaded Biscuit. Okay, one more. One more, guys. I'm so, I hope you enjoy these videos. Please let me know if you do. I like making these casual chats with you. So let me know in the comments if you like these two, and I'll keep doing them. All right, here it is, a line. Ellen Villa Align and Metallic Blonde Rooted. Now this has this little micro lace front, they call it, right there. Eh, you know, I, I, it's fine. I, do I think it's great? No, I don't think it matters, <laughs> really, but it is there. That's just my personal opinion. I could live with it or live without it. It wouldn't matter to me one way or the other, honestly. And it has some permatease here, open wefted and extended. But I love Elan. I love it. Again, this is the metallic blonde rooted. I think this color is gorgeous. When it came out, I could not wait to try it. And when I got it, I thought, yep, this is a winner. I tell you, I think a lot of uh, skin tones can wear this color. It's very, very wearable. Now, like I said, this reminds me of Jet. And there you go. I'm also, again, wig wax. I like to spike it up. I like to separate it, give it some texture. That wig wax really adds texture. And that is something I enjoy. And then I'm just gonna work it with my fingers. You see exactly what I'm doing. I don't highly style my wigs. People ask me all the time, oh, you must have them styled. No, I do this on camera so you can see. I don't do that. I show you how I style my wigs. It always makes me laugh when people say, oh, you, you always have them styled before or have them done professionally. No, no, no. I show them to you on camera. I want to keep it real with you. And I hope you appreciate that because I do. I appreciate people that are showing us how they are styling their wigs. And uh, I'm finished. I'm ready. <laughs> yes, yes, yes for a line. It's a 10 for me. It is definitely a 10. All right, guys, that's what I got today. I hope you enjoyed this. This is so fun for me. I love these videos. I love encourage, encouraging you to wear your best hair. Whatever it is that makes you comfortable, that makes you feel beautiful, don't let anyone discourage you. Put that wig on, wear that beautiful hair, and have a great day. I will see you next time.